named Grumman F-14 Tomcat is an American carrier capable, supersonic, twin engine, twin seater, variable swept wing fighter. The United States Navy developed the fighter jet aircraft to meet its naval fighter experimental ambitions for hunting high-speed bombers and other threats. The F-14 was the first of the so-called teen series of American fighters whose design was heavily influenced by America's experience tangling with Soviet MiG designation planes during the Vietnam War. Hi, my name is Melania Stolls and I'm an aerobatic pilot and airshow pilot. Flying is my passion and I'm happy to share with you some subjects around aviation that will hopefully inspire and push you to live your dreams. Designed in the 1960s and first flown in December 1970, the Tomcat was officially brought into active service in 1974 with the first squadrons deployed to the venerable US carrier USS Enterprise. Initially intended to replace the aging McDonnell F-4 Phantom, the F-14 quickly earned its stripes as the US Navy's prominent maritime air superiority fighter. The aircraft also performed other vital duties, including fleet, fleet defense, interception and tactical recognitions. The aircraft would serve in various the theaters, ranging from Vietnam to serving in both Iraq wars. More than 700 units were built by the Grumman Corporation, now the Northrop Grumman Corporation. The F-14 would be used well into the 2000s, officially being retired from the US Navy in 2006 and replaced with the carrier-capable F-18 Super Hornet. For those outside the military, the plane is probably most famous for its lead role in the 1980s blockbuster Top Gun, making the F-14 Tomcat perhaps one of the most recognizable American jet fighters of all time. The F-14 was featured again in the latest Top Gun Maverick, showing its place in people's hearts with a highlight sequence in the movie. The F-14 Tomcat was retired for various reasons, some of the most important being maintenance costs and obsolescence. While the aircraft served for the US Navy exemplary for over 30 years, the aircraft's complex swept wing engineering became too expensive to manage economically. The ability to sweep its wing back and forth is by far the most notable feature of the fighter and a very ambitious feature too. The F-14's wing position could vary from 20 degrees to 68 degrees while airborne to allow for the best possible flight characteristic at both low and high speeds. This system was controlled automatically by the F-14's central air data computer but could also be controlled manually by the pilot. This system was complicated and, frankly, heavy and required a lot of maintenance. Time spent doing this varied, but most quoted Navy estimated range from between 30 hours to 60 hours of maintenance for every hour spent in the air. But there were also tactical reasons for the retiring of the aircraft. For example, pilots in other teen series fighters, which include the F-15 Eagle, F-16 Fighting Falcon and F-18 Hornet, reported that the shifting in wing position effectively telegraphed the F-14's intention, making it easier to dogfight them. Most former American operated ones have now either been scrapped or are museum pieces, but there are still some flying. There is also a large collection of them at the 309th Aerospace Maintenance and Regeneration Group Boneyard at Davis Mountain Air Force Base, Arizona. However, with the aircraft discontinued, any flying models count down their last days. Repairs and parts are harder and harder to come by with the cannibalization of other planes as the only real source. It is, therefore, only a matter of time before even these venerable aircrafts are grounded for good. The F-14 Tomcat was a superb aircraft, but only for certain roles. When it first took to the air, it was by far the most advanced and capable fighter of its kind 
anywhere in the world. It was given the nickname Turkey from how the fighter looked on the catapult or on approach to landing when its entire trading age, including flaps, spoilers, tail runs and twin rudders, seemed to fan out like a turkey's tail, highlighting the plane's complexity. It was, and still is, one of the best looking jet fighters that has ever been developed. But these advantages wouldn't last forever. Specifically designed for a limited purpose, it was soon surpassed in some roles like dogfighting by other specialized fighters like the F-15 Eagle. The F-14 was also hampered from the outset by its engines that were actually developed for the F-111 bomber, meaning that they weren't really suitable for dogfighting. When stealth-capable uh, aircraft came into existence, it was only a matter of time before this heavy and expensive fighter's day would be numbered. Thank you so much, F-14.